once that happens and you mess up your lining, instead of getting a fresher piece of lining, you know you're still going to have to make your adjustments. Use your messed up lining first because you can always knock it back down. Just pick a different hole. Put a rivet down in there. Close your gate. Turn your power back on. Okay. Now, put your new rivet in. That is a little loose. So, I'm going to turn it just a little. Okay. already got a rivet in here, no rivet in the jaw, close your gate. Try to re-smash it. Okay, that time it went down in there. So now, tightness is correct. So, what you do, you don't want to tighten your top one. Hold it with your hand. Put your wrench on the bottom. Just give it a couple of snugs to make sure it's tight. It don't back off on you. Okay. Open your gate. Pop a rivet down in there. And then you're just going to take it. Pop your rivet. Is that it'll go all the way around okay so this lining is bad so you don't want to use it you should have nice round rolls okay. all right change over to a different rivet now this is a bad piece of lining you're not going to use it don't finish it just put it off to the side and be tore down okay we're going to turn the machine off. Now we're going to do something different. We're going to change everything over to a 45-15. Okay. Uh, need a box in one. You'll need a box. The box is just to catch your rivets. that off. When that piece is too tight on there, just tap. It'll come off. Okay. Put your box underneath. You back this out. Okay, now you might want to come around this side so you can see inside. Okay. You got rivets in here. The idea of the box is that it'll catch it instead of you dropping all over the floor. Just line them right back up through the slot. One that's stuck up in there. Just reach in there, use something thin to, to fit inside the slot. That's your slot right there. Once you get them all out, your gate's empty. You want to get the one out of the jaw. That's why you use a box. You don't have to keep picking them up. Okay, now you got everything emptied out. You want to check your track. Sometimes a rivet. Put the 
rivet does is that it'll sit inside. It'll set here, or it might set on the inside to where it'll be in there. That's why you'll check it everywhere around it, making sure there's no rivets. Put her back together. It's only got to be just a little snug, not too tight. Alright, completely empty. Now, we're moving up. We're going to move up and do a different style of shoe. 45-15 takes a 10, 8 and a half. The 8 and a half is so that it makes a perfect roll. It's a longer rivet. It's just a slight longer. The original shoe took a 10-7 rivet. That's a 13-08 lining. It takes a 10-7. Okay, now you got the rivets inside your hopper. Bend it. The idea of spinning is so that you can feel your track. Okay, now you got your track filled. You're going to open your gate, let one come through. Close your gate. Now we know that the adjustment was set up for the 1308. Now, it's going to be too tight for the 4515. Just take, loosen, you're going to back it off. You notice how it just dropped down. As I was loosening it, it drops. Don't be afraid to turn it to make it loose. Now this is a 45-15Q, okay? You've got your anchor, goes on, okay? Make sure that the metal's not bent, otherwise you'll probably crack the lining as you're repairing the metal. You're going to put your first one in. Now, I can tell you it was loose. Okay. The gate is closed. Okay. Now, this is just turning it with two fingers. Plain as day, it's loose. So, we want to tighten that one up. There is no rivet in your jaw. Your gate is closed. Turn your machine off before you mess with anything. Accidents happen. Lift this up. Turn your nut to tighten it up some. When you think that's the right thickness, just turn it to where it holds it together. Take your shoe. Put it back onto the anvil. Same rivet. You're going to hit the same rivet hole. Okay, that's still loose to me. So, turn her off. Loosen it back up. Bring it up. Tighten it up some more. Redo it again. Same rivet hole. Now when that happens, it's too tight. That lining is tight. Turn it on. This is already down. The anvil is stuck down in the jaws. Okay. 
turn your power back on, it'll reset it. Reset. Turn your power off. Now, you loosen that with your hand, of course. You need to bring this down because it was too tight on the lining. So, you can hold that. Give it a slight turn there. One full turn. Put it back together like that. Now, you can just use a punch and a hammer. Instead of keep grabbing a new piece of lining, just pop them out. No damage done. Now it's the same steel, same lining. Turn your power on, lift your gate. You're gonna pop a rivet down, close your gate. That's still tight. Another full turn. I opened the gate, put another rivet down in there. Turn your power back on. Okay, now came down, went back up, no problem. Right now that is tight. All you do then is turn your power back on. So take and tighten your bolts back up. Start with your bottom one, don't mess with the top. Get a little snug. Okay, now you got everything preset. Now, going to check your rivets. I don't like this one. When you come across one that you did not like, you can tap it out of there. It does not damage the lining. Turn your power on. Okay. That's the rivet I replaced. It rolls pretty good. And then we would simply change the machine back for the next style shoe or different length rivet.